registers of 8086 we have four types of registers in 8086 since the data bus is 16 bits therefore all the registers can store maximum of 16 bits of data so we have four types general purpose register segment registers pointer and index registers and flag registers first is general purpose register or gprs we have four gprs um, all total we have four gprs each of 16 bits but um, but that 16 bit is divided into two 8 bits of registers like ax is divided into ah and al where each th this in this it is of 8 bit so as a whole this can be regarded as a 16 bit ax means accumulator 16 bit accumulator this whole these are of 16 bits and each box is of 8 bits so ax acts as the default accumulator 16 bit and if we have any 8 bit operation for that al will act as the default accumulator 8 bit operations and then we have bx bx will store the offset or the base address when we do index addressing modes we will see later so b bx b for the base addresses then cx will act as the default counter for the loop instruction we have we will read a loop instruction in which the um, the instruction will iterate until this cx condition is positive if it is positive then it will iterate then dx dx um, dx is for de default destination for example if we multiply two 8 bit numbers so the resultant will be two uh, 8 plus 8 it will be 16 bit the resultant will be 16 bit and therefore it will be stored in dx sorry if we multiply two 16 bits resultant will be 32 bit suppose we are multiplying b bx and ax this is 16 bit this is 16 bit resultant is 32 bits the resultant will be stored in ax and the uh, destination means the extra bits will be stored in dx that is the default destination default destination not this one and implicit operands uh, implicit means we do not have to specify the operand and then while we do string instructions we will see this in uh, implicit addressing modes and when we will study string instructions we will see there